Yo, what is up? We're well, getting back to another All Star Tower Defense video. Now, today's video is gonna be a little different. It's gonna be more of a talking video and giving some opinion. Opinions, please do not come at me. These are all just opinions, everyone has them. Also, before we start this video, I am trying to make a clips channel for my Twitch. If you haven't followed my Twitch already, link in the description. But if you don't have time to watch my streams, it's fine. I will be making a clip channel where I will be posting any funny moment that happens there. So yeah, make sure to go subscribe to that right now in the description if you want, if you can. I really would appreciate it if you guys would. I feel like the current state of the game is not that great right now because there's just not a lot of... I can't say this word. Vayarity. Yes. Uh, there's not a lot of, you know, new things going on. Uh, there's just new characters only. And I mean, new characters are cool and all, but it's not, it's not something for me. Like, I wouldn't want new characters every two weeks. You know, there's sometimes when you need, like, options. You need, like, options to play another certain game mode in the game. Like, it's always fun playing the same thing. But when it gets repetitive and it gets boring, it's just not fun anymore. So first idea i have in mind obviously it's the most common one and it should be implemented sometime in the game pvp obviously pvp is a big game mode you would want to verse your friends or you would want to verse random people <coughs> madao the developer himself or i, I don't know th th there's a bunch of developers anyways he has just confirmed at uh 12 16 a.m right now pvp is confirmed so um i did did a whole segment on pvp and why it should be added but he confirmed himself that it is confirmed now in the game for this wednesday so stay hyped for that my boys now the second idea i've been preaching this idea since the first day i saw it since fruity sama released that video on the mystery units i have been like it's literally been the one thing i've always been talking about it's literally such it's such a good game mode like mystery unit game mode like you don't know what's gonna be on the other side right so like you gotta like put your troops down and you just don't know what you're gonna get it's like it's like a gamble but it's a fun gamble because you like it's more of rng than skill you know and also you can try out new troops that you probably never had like this is mostly good for new players as well because if they don't have all the troops and they don't know what's good or not and people don't want to help them out because there's a lot of stingy people in uh, All-Star Tower Defense that don't like helping out other people. They just like, you know, doing their own stuff. This could be a good way to show which troops are good, which troops are bad, and it could help out a lot of people. And I feel like if All-Star Tower Defense wants new people to join their game, this would be a perfect game mode for all the new players. Or lower rated players. I hate saying noob. It's such a, it's such a, well, it's not a vulgar word, but it's like really... My boy, the real Arc X, recommended story, but instead making the mobs a lot tougher, make each stage ban some units or PvP mode. Now, the first part of this, I think I'm getting at what he's trying to say. So I'm guessing he maybe wants like like difficulties and story mode. Like, cause every story mode like doesn't have difficulties, it just goes by, you know, the easiest setting it is. I don't know. Yeah, maybe adding difficulties to story mode for people could be the best thing maybe if you do a more difficult one you get more unit maybe if you do a more easier one you get less obviously but yeah i think that's what he's trying to say and that could be a cool addition to all stars honestly yeah adding difficulty so you know you don't have to like keep repeating the same one if you're already like a high level you know person that doesn't want to waste a lot of time and you just want to go straight to the most difficult thing and maybe gain like an extra one or two extra troops it could be something better for the more you know older players that have been playing more than the more newer players they are getting a, a bit more compensated because of the time they already invested in the game and if they added more difficulties with extra you know characters that they can get it would be better for them so i feel like that should be a game well not a game mode more like an extra addition to like a game mode that's already in that would help the game out a lot now this is another uh, game mode that they should add but this is only if they do add a pvp mode into all stars this game mode would be called swaps so basically how this works is if you have a full deck of six units and the other person as well has a full deck of six units uh you guys would exchange two units to each other randomly so you don't know what unit you're gonna get you doesn't know what you know he's gonna get so you can risk yourself by getting by putting yourself bad units into your squad but you also have the risk of if you don't get to swap your bad units you're gonna have the bad units and he's gonna get your good units so basically that's how it's gonna work um, this isn't really a game mode but i feel like it should be like something that should be implemented 
somewhere near this future for All-Star Tower Defense. If they add traps, uh, it's, again, something from Balloon Tower Defense. Like, like you know how they have those spiky things? Like, those things should be, like, shurikens. Like, the, like, Naruto shurikens or, I don't know, like, traps from anime. Anime-based traps, basically. So, you know, whatever they come up with or whatever you guys come up with for traps, you guys can let them know and they could definitely implement it. I don't, I feel like, could it be possible? Honestly, it could be possible as well. It could definitely be because, you know, you will have that all that extra money that you have in infinite. You know, you have a lot of extra money right after you finish placing. Depends who you have in your in your team of six. But if you have like a bunch of extra money right after you place all your troops down, you could like put some traps as well. Traps will not be what's it called obtainable uh, just like that. Um, you could definitely spin for them or better traps for like good traps or meta traps, you know, stuff like that. It could be a, definitely a new addition to the summons as well. And it could have more people, you know, have more of I can't say this word, rarity of more things, you know, to get in summons. Even though some people are already struggling just getting five stars. But, you know, having this extra, you know, bit of um, summons could have more effect, you know. Because they'll be like, oh, there's a lot of, there's a bunch of stuff I could collect, you know. It would, it would intrigue people more as well. So, yeah, traps should be added in all-star tower defense as well and yeah i think that's all i really got for this video if you guys have anything else you guys want to add to all-star tower defense please let me know in the comments that's not units please I, i'm tired of hearing of units i want to see new game ideas so please let me know in the comments whatever you guys want to add i would really appreciate it thank you guys for watching once again i'm sorry it was a late upload but yeah i'll see you guys in the next all-star tower defense video or wherever i post next Peace.